Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. I have missed my channel this past week. Um, if you cannot tell, I've had a little bit of sun going on here. Um, I did enjoy my trip very much and I'm already ready to go back. Um, <laughs> but we'll talk about that another time. I am so happy to be back in front of all of you. I hope everyone's been doing well. Miss Patty did a wonderful job keeping my channel in check. Thank you, girlfriend. And Linda did a wonderful job keeping Patty in check. Thank you, Linda. And I can't tell you who the Casper was hanging around spying on all of you, but everybody was very good. So i have a brand new dollar tree haul i'd like to share with all of you and i'm just gonna get right on to it i'm gonna start off with actually some munchies because i'm hungry and i haven't eaten anything yet today so i'm looking at snacks here going oh yeah but no i'm gonna be a good girl and wait to have my dinner okay this was kind of cool um flips pretzels that are usually dipped in like the white chocolate or just like the dark chocolate they have flips in s'more flavored so i am very curious to see what this is going to taste like it does say it's new it's a 3.25 ounce package and again it's s'mores covered pretzels you know what i'm actually going to pop this open this thing i'm going to want to put one in my mouth but i mean showing you a bag doesn't really show you the product so let me open it up here and oh my gosh right away the aroma smells oh my gosh I can't believe, well, of course, when I stick my whole nose up in there, what a wonderful smell, but look at how these look. So, you know how bad I want to put this in my mouth, but I'm not going to, I'm going to put it back in there. So, that is what those look like, okay? So, those will be for some yummy snacks for after dinner. Also, I'm telling you, I, you know, I fell for this, probably like a bunch of other people will fall for it. Um, it is 3.53 ounces and it is magical poop marshmallows. I'm telling you, it's magical poop marshmallows. <laughs> what will they think of next? Anyways, 3.53 ounces. I will say this though, they are super, super squishy. Um, so they are very, very fresh. Um, we won't even go any further than that. Unicorn poop. All right, next. I have to give a shout out because Chicago, whoop, whoop, Double Bubble. Everybody who watches my channel who knows me knows I love Double Bubble. This was kind of a fun find. This is 3.5 ounces and it's Double Bubble gumballs, but they're dragon eggs. I was like, say what? I've never seen these before. So you get all different colors and they're in the shape of an egg, which you can see like right there. So yeah, I was like, well, that's kind of something different. Listen to the names of the gum. We have Hydra Frost, Griffin Grape, Commando Lemon, and Serpent Strawberry. Again, I would love to be a person that just makes up names for products. I think that would be so fun, like nail polishes and stuff. So that was different and new. Also, another brand name, Tootsie Roll, whoop, whoop, Chicago again. This is an extra value pack. So it is a 5.13 ounce package. And these are vanilla flavored Tootsie Rolls. These are the midges. It's an extra value pack. So you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck and they're all vanilla. So for those of you that really like the flavored Tootsie Rolls, all vanilla. I'd love to get one all in lime because I think out of all the flavored Tootsie Rolls, the lime and the orange, but I think more the lime is my favorite flavor out of all of those. Also came across something new and is Charms also Chicago? Uh, no, Tennessee. Okay, my bad. I was going to give another whoop whoop to Chicago. Well, I just did, didn't I? Whoop whoop. <laughs> Anyways, Charms Fluffy Stuff Cotton Candy. Never seen this flavor before. Watermelon. Oh, my favorite flavor. So this is 2.1 ounces. It does say that it's new. I've never seen watermelon flavor before. This I do have to try. Um, so my bad. I don't mean to be rude, but this I have to try. I haven't had any cotton candy at all this year. And um, I don't, I usually only have it 
I don't think I had any last year. I usually will have it a little bit. I'm not one of those that can go down to town with cotton candy because it'll just, whoo, you know, knock my fillings right out of my head. But every now and then, a little treat. So I've just opened it up. I just made a little slit. There it is on the inside there. Ooh, I smell watermelon like instantly. It's so fresh. It's like melting in my fingers. Whoops. But there it is. It looks like fiberglass, you know, the filling for your addicts and stuff. But so I'm going to give this a try. Bomb. Oh my God. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, my bad. I'm going to have to get some more of this. Oh, wow. The watermelon flavor is intense. Very impressed. Wow. Yeah, that's some good stuff. And um, I'm just getting a piece of tape off my desk here just to close it up for now because, you know, it's so humid here today in New York. I got back home to a haze of heat. I liked it much better down by the water. All right, these were something different. Where is Rizzo? Really? Where's Rizzo? Rizzo? I know I had Rizzo. Are you kidding me? Okay, here we go. Yeah, my brain is still a little bit off from my suntan, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, these are made of pressed wood. They're approximately a quarter of an inch thick. They measure from top to bottom eight inches and in width they measure six inches. Here's what the backside looks like. You could use something here to hang it with or you could use this to put it on your wall. This is just the, you know, what they put on there to hang it up and it is a leaf. Well, I think it's a leaf anyways. And basically you could hang cooks, um, clothing, keys, all kinds of things off of here. I found one that has this white and gold. And then I found this one that's more natural with the gold. There's quite a bit of a, you know, it sticks out quite a bit. So you have plenty of room to hang something, but isn't that pretty? I tend to like this one more than I like this one, but I thought they were really nice. So I thought I would grab those to show you all of those. <coughs> I also picked up this bag by Voila, and you guys know how much I love my bags um, and not the ones under my eyes, but I do all different things with bags besides use them as bags. Sometimes if I find a bag that's really cute, um, I have lots of little things I put together sometimes. And for instance, the reason I got this bag is because I want this center cloud for something. So I'll be cutting that out. I'm gonna be cutting out a couple of these little fairies. So when I look at different things besides this being a gift bag, when I'm doing crafting, I'm also looking for things like this because in my mind, I see different crafts going on here, but this is an adorable bag and I just thought it was so cute. I had to share it. It's got all these little fairy wishes on the front here. This is approximately, let me just open it up for you. The sides are decorated as well. I just love it. I think it's just a little cute, cute bag. Of course, I know I just pulled it apart. Okay, keeping it real. Here we go. That is what it looks like all opened up. It's very, very pretty and cute, but the purpose for me purchasing it was for these little fairies and this centerpiece. I'm gonna be using that in a craft for something. I came across these and I thought, well, these are kind of different. These are makeup brush cleansing mats. I found four different ones, definitely all about summer here. They're made by Sassy and Chic. This one measures six inches and it looks like they're all gonna measure the same. I found four different patterns. I don't know how many there are or um, if there's more or anything, these were just the ones that I found. So the first one here, and by the way, these do have suction cups. I don't know if you can see through the bag. There you go. They have suction cups that you just put up against your wall, your shower, in your bathroom a mirror, wherever it is that you put these, but these are makeup brush cleansing mats. So the first one I found is in the shape there. 
I'm hoping you can tell what it is. <laughs> I think so. It's a cactus. Um, here's the little flower on top. And then there is your cactus. I also found a pineapple, which is really pretty. That just jumps right out at you. I also found this popsicle, which I think is so cool. I love this. This is awesome. I love this popsicle. And you know, just because it says it's for a makeup brush, you could use this as a refrigerator magnet because it has the suction cups on there. It'll stick on your refrigerator. And not only that, it sticks on other places as well. So if you were just looking to like do something cool on your fridge for summer, why not use that? And last but not least, a slice of watermelon. I still, I didn't even have any watermelon on my vacation. I fish, 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 and more fish. <laughs> I didn't have any watermelon, but there's a, a watermelon for those of you that like your watermelon. Again, like I said, I don't know how many different designs there are. That's just what I found. Um, I did get two more bags of the York Peppermint Patties, the 3.3 ounces that have the peppermints individually wrapped. I like to keep these in my freezer. So, you know, like after dinner, if you want a mint or something like that, or I have somebody over, um, you know, there's a little mint in the freezer. I do keep them in the freezer because even though they're frozen, they're, they don't like freeze hard as a rock. They still stay soft, but they're really, really cold. And a nice mint right after you eat is always refreshing. These were new. I did get two of them because one is going to be going into a friend mail for someone. And this is the Yes to Grapefruit and Orange Brightening for Dull and Uneven Skin. It's vitamin C and A boosting bubble paper mask. It's a single use paper mask and it looks kind of cool. It says limited edition, which I'm not so sure what that is all about. Um, but I did get two because like I said, one is going into someone's package. Um, these I think are adorable. I'm such a dingbat. Like when I fall down and go boom, I'm such a big baby. Well, I'm really not. I am a tough cookie. Um, and I've been whacked by a lot of stuff the past couple of months between falling and other stuff going on. Um, I needed these a lot sooner than now. But these are, who makes these? Thura Plus makes these. And they are reusable cold pouches. So basically what you do is you stick them in your freezer. And if you'll get a boo-boo, instead of throwing a bag of peas on you or something, you can put this in your freezer. It has all these little jelly beads. In fact, I think this is just like fun to play with. I mean, you could totally use this as one of those squish toys. If you've ever felt what like tapioca pudding tastes like, those are what these little beads feel like. To me anyways, they feel like little fish eggs. <laughs> anyways, fish eggs. Yuck, I'm not a caviar person. Anyways, they have these little beads in there. You put it in the freezer and if you've got a little boo-boo or a young one in the house, they got a boo-boo, here you go. You give them something cute to put on their head to make them stop crying or whatever it'll be. In my case, I get a boo-boo and I wanna be, you know, cute about it. I ain't gonna use no stupid looking ice bag. I want something that's got some design. The other one I found, which I thought was even more cute than the smiley face, is they had one, they had several designs, but I thought this was the cutest one. They have this little turtle and he's so cute and he's got all these little beads again that you can see squishing around. Again, you just pop it in the freezer Boom, and it's there in case you got an owie or a boo-boo. A lot of times when grandpa's up working in one of the shops or next door, he'll come knocking at the door. I got a splitter, or I got this, or I got, and you know what? I figure I'll hand him one of those and get a good smile out of him. All right, couple thing. Oh, oh, I gotta share with these, these, these. Hold on, okay. Socks, I could've said stickers, but I'm saying socks. Okay. Um. A lot of you from probably, uh, I've been gone a week, so past couple of weeks have mentioned what's with the socks? Why do you get so many socks? Well, my answer to that would be, um, is it really any of your business? No, and I don't mean that to be rude, but why do I get so many pairs of socks? Well, I'm gonna answer that question. Number one, because everybody needs socks and socks, believe it or not, is one of the most 
requested items for people who don't have anything. A pair of warm socks and a pair of warm shoes goes a very long way. And when you go without, we won't even go there. I do a lot of donating. I always have and I always will. Women's shelters, um, for battered women, shelters for children, all types of shelters. I do a lot of donating throughout the year, but I do a lot during the holiday time. And so that's why you see so many pairs of socks. These socks are being put into a container and they are going to be taken to different shelters to be distributed. So I just want to clear up that's what's going on with the socks. And I don't mean to be snippy or rude, um, but I just felt like so many people had made a comment like, what's with the socks? Like. Why are socks such a big deal? I mean, I don't know. I, I just wanted to put some closure to that so I don't feel like I have to explain it each time. Moving on. I stay in my lane and I just keep trucking. Okay, women's athletic low-cut socks. Um, I've purchased these before. They're very nice. They wash well. You do only get one pair. This one happens to be in the low cut. They're purple and gray, but they have some stretch to them because they have a little bit of spandex. So they're meant for shoe size five through nine, but you can definitely get a little bit bigger. That's why they give you that size. Then I picked up the same pair in pink and that it's more of like a coral and pink to be quite honest. And then this one here, which is in a mint green. I also came across these and I thought, wow, these are perfect. It's two pairs of socks and it's by Beverly Hills Polo Club. And they're called Fashion Socks, you get two pairs. So this was the first pair I found and they have llamas on there. And then here is the second pair that you get. And this is just so absolutely perfect because there's, um, not to squirrel off, but one of the places that I go to has this big pine Christmas tree. And during the winter time, people will go and hang gloves and mittens and socks for anyone throughout the town that may need them. And I think that's just so cool. And what I like about these is when they have the hooks like this, I simply take these and I'll put like a little bowl or something and hang it right off the tree just like that. So I found this set. This set is also by the same, the next pairs that I'm showing you are all by Beverly Hills. So here was the next one and it's got, let's see if I can get the face to show you. It looks to me like a bulldog or maybe it could be a, um, not so much a bulldog, a French bulldog maybe? I'm not so sure, but those, they're really soft. They're cute as can be. So there was the first pair. And look at that, talk about an 80s color, that is going back. Talk about neon colors, oh my gosh. We won't go there. <laughs> All right, the next pair here looks like some sloths to me. And then you have these gray stripes. Last but not least, we have little hedgehogs. There they are, they're so cute. And then you have this pair here that has purple, pink, black, and dark blue. All right, that's it for socks. Let's jump over to a couple pencil sharpeners. These are kind of cool and fun looking, and where is Rizzo? I think I'm gonna put Velcro, Velcro, let me try that again. Um, I think I'm gonna put some Velcro and just, <laughs> so I'm no, and I still not know where it is. All right, these pencil sharpeners are made of rubber, they're pretty cool. They are about two and three quarters in length, and that is each one. I found three different ones. We have, I was gonna say guacamole, but we have an avocado. <laughs> and your sharpener is right there. I don't, here it would help if I got my hand out of the way. There's your sharpener hole right there. So we have an avocado. We have a slice of watermelon which I think is really cool. And they're like um, a soft rubber. See how you can like bend it? Not super, super soft, but you can move it around if you wanted to. And last but not least, and this one's my favorite, pineapple. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so also, 
Actually, I got a couple of these, so let me just show you these. Eyeglass pouches. I couldn't tell you how many pairs of sunglasses have gone in the sea with toe rings and ankle bracelets and you name it, I always do it. Anyways, what I like about these eye pouches is they have this little bit of metal inside, so you just like pinch it and it opens up, almost like those old coin um, containers. Now I'm going back here. <coughs> yeah, I'm squirreling, but just a little bit. They were oval shape and you pinched them and they opened up. I bet some of you still have some of those coin change purses. I know grandpa has an all rubber one he keeps in his pocket. Anyways, to make a long story short, it opens just like that. Okay, so these are made of vinyl. And so you can wipe them off if they get dirty. They're almost eight inches. They're like seven and, oh, I'm gonna say eight inches. So eight inches in length by three and a half inches in width. All about pineapples. Your design is on the front and the back. Um, I love these, they're perfect. I have, I think, three different ones in my purse right now. Yes, three. One for my glasses, and then I always have two pairs of sunglasses on me. Don't ask me why, because that'll be another story. Um, but anyways, you've got that metal that clicks it open, and then there you go. Also had this design, and I'm guilty. I bought two of these. I'm so bad. But when you've got a design as cute as that, I mean, come on. How can you not get two? Look at the cookies and the donuts. And if you look really hard at the donut, it's got a kitty cat face on there. And then you've got ice cream cones and cupcakes and cookies. Oh, it's on the front and on the back. Got the same design to open it up. Yeah, okay, try that again, Beth. Same design to open it up. There you go. It's just got a little bit of metal. You can hear that kind of snap. Boink. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so they've got back to school out. They have Halloween out. I've seen Christmas. Um, I think basically all there's left is uh, January for New Year's because everything else is really out. Honest to gosh. I mean, I was up there on my trip. Christmas, Halloween. I was like, already? And then I get back here in New York and I see the same thing all over. It's like, oh my gosh, you guys push it so much retail. They just push it, push it, push it. Okay, anyways, we've got some makeup bags, pencil pouches, whatever you wanna use them for. These are actually by Hasbro, which is a brand name. I just wanted to double check that. So the first one I have is My Little Pony. You get the three eyelets which are surrounded by the metal so you could clip this in a three ring binder if you wanted to this one here i mean they're very pliable and they're very soft and these are pretty darn good in size they are ten and a half inches in length and six and a half inches in width so the first one i found is my little pony that looks like that now let's see we open it up they open really really nice let me get this paper that's out in there so you can see the design maybe a little bit better. No, probably not because I think that piece of paper actually divided the design so you could see it better. So I kind of just screwed that up. But I keep things real, so it is what it is. Power of friendship. It says right here, power of friendship. And you've got all the ponies. You got all the girls up in there. And then if you go back to the front, it says, follow the rainbow. I thought it was so cute. I found a couple of them. I don't know how many there are. They all measure the same. This one here happens to be Bumblebee. Is this a transformer? It's a transformer. So here is the front side. I'm not sure if I'm holding. Nope, it looks like I'm holding it wrong. So it should go like that. And then here is your backside. So if you have someone who's into Transformers, that's pretty cool. I also came across, we all know who that is. I love that movie, Toy Story. I love Toy Story, so cute. So we have Woody, and then we flip it over, and there she is. 
pretty, pretty, Mary had a little lamb. And on the front it says, coming through. <laughs> yep, don't take her on, man. She'll kick your butt. Last but not least, this one. Is this Pocahontas? It is. It is Disney princesses. And we have girl power. So girl power. And then when you flip it over, what does it say? Hero time right there and there you go the zippers are done very nice you know sometimes when you get in my opinion when you get pencil cases or makeup bags from Dollar Tree I always like to check my zippers because it feels like the zippers can get really cheapy and they're a lot of times they're just broken and I hate that it sucks just my opinion it sucks all right a couple things for your wall these are six inches all the way around and it's basically just considered decor. They are wrapped in plastic, so I'm gonna try to keep the glare off the best I can. You do have a hanger which comes built in. This one here, it's gonna have some bling to it because I don't know if you can see right there all the colors jumping off that. It says, impress yourself. And that's the only person that you should be worried about impressing is truly yourself. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. There you go. Really cute. Plenty of room to just, you know, sit this down on something. It would definitely stand on its own. And then I saw this one and I thought, okay, I have to get this. When life gives you lemons, yes, to make lemonade and tequila. No, <laughs> there's that one there, the same type of frame. And there, I love the color shot right there. Look at all the different colors right here that whole prism effect love it but there is the design i thought they were really really pretty i then also came across oh do you guys want to hear me say notebooks no no i wouldn't do that to all of you would i yes i would but i'm not going to do it right now all right these were kind of fun i actually i actually right here have one of these on my desk that i'm actually using Okay, so these are, I thought they had the measurement on there. They do. These measure eight inches by six inches. They are wrapped in plastic. And basically what they are, I'm gonna take this one out of the package so I can show you. They're like pads of paper. I keep one on my desk for doodling, for making notes and things like that. But here is the first one. And it's just got little blocks and squares where you can fill out information and every single one is going to be the same. So what I do periodically, you know, if I need to jot down something really quick, I'll just throw it on there. Usually I would have one of these in a big version, but I haven't been able to find the bigger versions lately. Um, it might just be I'm not looking in the right locations or need to go somewhere, but I love when I have these big papers like this. So I, oh, I'm just gonna keep it out of the package and throw it on my desk. And that's exactly what I do, is I throw it on my desk and use it for writing notes. Found a couple different designs and there are 40 sheets per package. This one says, is this pretty funny too, it's cute. So you have this one here and I think I got two of them. I didn't get two of them, I got two of the other one. So it says, you're killing it, babe, right there. Then we have girls run the world check you out and pretty and proud so that's what all the boxes say on this one i also found this design that says get it together maybe one day and if you forget one more time so here's this design again this is wrapped in plastic so just ignore that this design right here that says it is is oh excuse me it says is it friday yet and then we have doodles and that's exactly what i do doodles so these are just cute fun little things that you could give to someone again i use mine all the time for different notes um if i'm just sitting on the phone waiting on hold for something i'm always drawing little stick figures little animals little crazy things like that Alrighty, I'm just going to show you a couple of notebooks and I'm going to go ahead and close this one out for now because I am starving and if I don't eat something, I'm going to go per plunk. 
All right, these are notebooks, and these are by one of my favorite companies, which is Crown Jewels. These measure seven inches in length by five inches in width. This first one here is adorable. Look at the colors, and then you have all these diamonds in here. And when you open it up, the front page is full of stickers. Cool. But then check out every single page. I'm going to bring it in close because I'm not sure if the design is showing. There you go. There's a good shot of it. Every single page has designs. Really soft and pliable. Again, Crown Jewels is an all-women done company. I love their stuff. They always have great products. The next one is this tie-dye one, which is just blue and white. On the front, you have no stickers on this one, but it says enjoy today. And then you have the fancy dotted lines. And then every page says enjoy the day. Um, excuse me, enjoy today. The next notebook I have here is all over the place. All these are made by Crown Jewels. Weekend, Drama Queen, Meow, Stay Wild, Believe in Unicorns. And then when you open it, this one has stickers in it as well. They seem to be the same stickers from the other book I showed you. But then every page has some effect on it. Like it has the little diamond over here and a heart, more hearts, more little stars. And that's on every single page page. I love that they always seem to go for that little extra little bit of detail. Last but not least, and I think this is my favorite. This one here just has all the colors that scream my name, pinks and purples. It says notes on the front. By the way, these books hold a hundred sheets of paper. This one here has the same type of stickers in the front. When you open it up, you're going to get the dotted lines, but every page has a rainbow right there with clouds and a cupcake. So every single page has a little something something on it. Love them. Their books just, I don't know, they do a fantastic job. That's it for this time. I have plenty more to show you. I have so many packages that came in for product reviews. OMG. I have new products with nail polishes. I have a company that sent me some nail polishes and they sent me the light, the UV light. It's like this big. OMG. I, um, here's a sneak peek of a company that I just opened up. This is called, um, bear with me. It's that brand new. I feel so bad. It's, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. Here's what the inside all the way around. So there's going to be another product for you. And I have like six more lined up upstairs to share with all of you. So catching up is going to be exciting. Until next time, everybody. Thank you so much for everyone that checked on me to make sure I was okay during my trip. I did try to let everyone know I was disappearing for a while. But I do appreciate people checking on me. It's nice to know that I'm not out there alone. Until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.